Now what we want to do is determine the length of our fretboard. First thing we want to do is find our five millimeter gap up here for our nut. And we get this lined up. And I'm not centering this exactly just yet. Um, when we do, I'll put a piece of tape here and center it. Same thing down here. Right now I'm just looking for our length. 14th fret is here, that looks good. And primarily I'm concerned with how this meets the sound hole. This can be approached uh, several ways. Really, you kind of have the ultimate freedom um, of however you want to take care of the space. You can follow the sound hole and match that um, like a, a classical guitar would uh, typically do. You can um, cut this straight off, you know, after one of these frets down here, cut this straight probably on this one. So it's just kind of covering this, especially if you have a squared off flat peg head, that would look pretty good here. That would match that. With mine, mine is a little more round. What I usually do is from here, this fret, to this fret side, I will kind of create a little bit of a curve that comes out onto uh, the sound hole. And I'll have just a little bit of the fret coming out here. And I'll just soften up that edge. I will usually create a soft curve right here at the end. So that it meets the sound hole right here, kind of softly goes over and meets the other side um, symmetrically. You can do yours flat, you can do it flat up here. What you want to be careful of is that in any case that you cover up all of your marks here for the rosette and whether that's doing a straight line here, straight line over the sound hole uh, just a little bit, really whatever you want. But the main concern here is that we cover this up. And that curve is going to do that for me. And I found a roll of binding tape, which is new and has about that radius that I'm looking for. So I'm going to cut this on the bandsaw and take a look at how the binding and the edges of the ebony match up. I may or may not bind the round end. I'll just take a look and see how that cleans up. Now that I've got this roughly shaped, I'm going to take it to the uh, edge sander and clean this up. And I don't think I need to show you guys that. I've sanded this off out at the uh, disc sander and this cleans up nicely. I don't see a reason to really um, bind this. It blends into the bindings pretty well and I think that'll look good looking at it from the end. Mm -hmm. 